क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन सेज इन स्टेशनरी वेव फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन दार्टिकल्स वाइब्रेटिंग इन टू एडजस्टेंट लूप ऑफ अ नोड इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम ऑफ द स्टेशनरी वेव If this is the stationary wave, this is the node. Then we can see that the particles on the opposite sides of the node, that is, in the adjacent vibrating loops, are in opposite phase. If one particle is upward, the other particle will be downwards. The phase difference between these particles is pi, and hence, for question number twenty-one, the correct answer is four. Now let us discuss the question number twenty-two. Question number twenty-two says the speed of longitudinal wave in a gas depends on pressure as at constant temperature the students if the temperature remains constant then the speed which is equal to gamma rt by m remains constant and it is independent of pressure which means that p will be proportional to p to the power 0 and hence for this question option number 2 represents the correct answer now let us discuss the question number 23 question number 23 says when a sound wave travels from water to air it first bends towards the normal second Bends away from the normal. Third, may bend in any direction. A fourth, goes and deviated. Dear students, for sound waves, water behaves as a rarer medium and the air behaves as a denser medium. Therefore, since the sound is moving from a rarer to the denser medium, it bends towards the normal, which makes option number one of this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number twenty-four. Question number twenty-four says that which of the following option is correct for anti-node in a longitudinal stationary wave in air? Dear students, displacement anti-node in a stationary wave is equal to pressure node, and in a pressure node, the variation of pressure is minimum, which means that the density varies. in the minimum manner as well and therefore the answer for this particular question is option number 4 now let us discuss the question number 25 question number 25 says a tuning fork of frequency 1000 hertz is sounded above a resonance tube filled with a gas the first and second resonances are obtained at 17 cm and 52 cm respectively the speed of sound in gas inside the tube at room temperature is Dear students, dear students, the length in the first resonance is given as seventeen centimeter, while the length in the second resonance is given as fifty-two centimeters. The frequency of the source is equal to thousand hertz. Dear students, the speed of sound can be found out using the formula two f l two minus l one. That will be two into thousand into fifty-two minus seventeen. This will be equal to seven hundred meters per second, and hence option number three for this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number twenty-six. 